Hi Scorpio, welcome to your past life reading for singles, uh, retrograde specials. Let's take a look. What are the things that you need to learn from the past? Why is it that there are some things in your life right now that keeps on recurring or even somebody that you can't really cut your ties from? Okay. Or why is it that you feel so stuck in a relationship or in a situation or in a memory with somebody that you've been with in the past? Who is your soulmate? When are you going to be meeting them? And what are your karmic debts? Let's take a look. Another Native American. A mother. Hmm. Okay, let's pull out your two, three remaining clarifications. Huh. It seems like you are so afraid of becoming a mother, even though you're fond of kids. Or you have some issues being a mother. Or you're having some problems dealing with your own children, okay? Alright, let's take a look at your... What's really happened in your love life in the past? And now, what are you supposed to become in present life? Okay. There are actually three stages of your life that, you know, that already appeared here. But one thing is that, uh, hmm, although, let me pull out, let me pull out more cards about the Native American. And then the Atlantis. And then being an Asian. Okay. Now, the thing here is, um, because it's, it's more of an open-ended, um, you know, uh, stage here. And I feel like when you were a Native American, you've lived your life in a very uh, difficult or, uh, you know, a life full of struggles. And I feel like you've lived right in the middle of a tribal war. Now, during the time that you were an Atlantean, one, you were one of the advanced... Um, what do you call this? Civilizations, okay? You're one of the advanced people. It could be that you're one of those people who already used like advanced stuff, you know, like computers, calculators, stuff like that. And you have that knowledge that even if, you know, you haven't really studied something, you already know how to operate it. You already know how to use it. Unlike other people that they have to study using it, you know, but with you, it's like it comes naturally. So, and you... Especially for those Scorpios who was born in the year of the tiger. You always feel of running away. You're so afraid of responsibilities or you can't... Well, you're not really afraid, but you can't bear, okay, the, the heaviness of the situation. Whenever that there is like a very big expectations that's coming from your family, from your father, mother, or from, you know, the one that you're with before. It's like you, you can't breathe. You feel like you need to run away. Okay, you just wanted to escape. And you already have some problems, you know, like being a mother or you can't even tame your own children or you don't want to have your own children or you can't really see yourself having your own children. Okay, now, and you also, well, you've lived in Asia before and... Well, the thing that I'm picking up here is that either you're Japanese or you're um, silent is something that I can also pick up. Japanese, Thai, or not really Chinese. Um, 
there's another country, but uh, I can't really remember the the country right now. And there are some lessons and blessings that you need to be thankful for, you know, and yet you need to put in mind or bear in mind that the reason why your soul exists right now is because of those things that, you know, that have been given to you and you don't really, you know, like you have to remind yourself about those things that you have already strived and that has saved you in the past. And you love being out in the nature. You appreciate like camping or staying out in the, you know, like in the wild or nature fascinates you. You love mountain climbing, hiking. You know, it just, you feel like when you, when you wanted to run away or when you want to pull away from everyone, you want to take off and stay right there in the middle of the woods and meditate you know, or, or just stay right near the river. Okay. You also served as a knight in one of your past lives. I feel like um, this is when, we, when you're um, either when you're in Asia or when you're an Atlantean. And that's why right now in your present life that you feel so shielded. You feel, you, you, you feel so like, um, um, you know, like um, you always put your, you always wear your shield up against your body. You can't let anybody into your life. You're so afraid of letting anybody get close to you because, you know, there are a lot of fears. It's like you don't even trust anybody. You trust, but then later on when you're already right there in the middle, there goes the full of doubts. And you can't even control your own instincts or your own intuition about somebody. It's like you have very sharp observation. And as much as you want to give this person a chance, your instinct always kicks in. Okay? So that's why you always ended up eh, not really ruining the relationship, but more likely that you can't handle the, you know, some of the flaws and some of the things that you don't really like in a person or in a, in a situation or in a relationship. There's no such thing as, you know, perfection. But you just need to accept that all of us have our own individualities and um individual traits as well you know and people will lie cheat take advantage because that is already part of human nature it's only a matter of handling and dealing with it all right and you were also born as a male and female in your past life so right now there is a possibility that you are bisexual okay or that either you can you know you you like women or you're more into men more or you like more men sorry you like men more or you know you're also into women same like that okay and you're very concerned about financial security because you have gone through poverty when you were you know in, in your past life and I feel like you're very hardworking, dedicated and you're very ambitious target oriented and you prefer somebody who could support you with your endeavor with your dreams with your ambitions and someone who is also very hard working responsible and with a sense of direction okay and sense of timing as well because you're a little bit org disorganized and you're a little bit um, you know you don't have that sense of urgency sometimes okay so and you also have some issues about your father or you're you, you're longing for a father figure or for your own father Okay, um, it's if you feel like this is the only thing that's been lacking in your life, that's why you're having a hard time, um, you know, meeting the right one for you. And you've had a very frail health in the past. So right now, it could be that you're very thin, or that you're struggling to get fat, or to get to gain some weight, or you keep on getting hospitalized, or you have a lot of like you know a uh, sickness or ailments that uh, that you've been dealing with at, at this point and you're you're living in fear okay there it goes so th there's another one you've also lived in egypt so either that you're a chemist um engineer architect or a geophysicist or a profession that keeps on dealing with math okay or a profession that deals with math with numbers you know or dealing with some taxes as well um it, so there are four lives already that has been shown up here and 
you have that fear being in the open water okay because this is how you how you died and how your life ended when you were in Egypt when you were a tribes when you, when you were one of the tribes people you've gone through I feel like you're just a normal um like a normal uh what do you call this people okay or one of the normal uh, families and you've gone through severe poverty because of the tribes war so, sorry because of the tribal war in the past and you keep on running away and escaping you are so afraid of heaviness or dealing with the heaviness of the situation drama as well and I also feel like you're a crybaby you get easily you know uh, get too emotional you you've been trying to meditate or you've been trying to study yoga to contain your anger and with your you know with your personal issues but then again it, it's like there will always a time or you will still come at a point that you will be losing your patience and in your your moods and stuff like that or your control to yourself it is because that you know it is much better for you to confront and let it out instead of containing it all right so at this point i've already pulled out six more clarification cards for your past life but uh you know the the cards did not really indicated anything about your love life and you also have a healing touch are you you know you have talent in researching about herbal stuff you have that you know medical intuition and there is a particular situation in your life that you can't seem to get out of i feel like you keep on holding on to a particular memory person relationship you know what might have been what could have been you always feel so stuck in in a certain situation in your life okay and you can't seem to get out of it but it is because that you have been imprisoned or enslaved in the past without any justice and your love life your present life is being affected by your um past love history i feel like you have fallen in love with somebody who cannot really love you back and you have tried to make you have tried to please somebody you know just for them to love you but unfortunately their heart are already belongs to someone else okay so and that is also the reason why you're having a hard time being a mother it is because that you have raised your two children in your past life without any other father figure okay and not to mention that you also have some issues with your own father or with a father figure you're more attracted to men or women who are older than you okay so now see this is you know um when it comes to your love life and you have called out your soulmate it's like you're holding on to somebody but then you're already wishing for somebody else to come you're so afraid of letting go while the other one or while there's nobody new that's uh, coming yet okay and you're you know the person that is rightfully meant for you they live in a different place or in a different country this is going to be your one true love and when you finally see this person you have to make sure to open up your eyes open up your you know your mind and your heart and the, you know yourself to new possibilities instead of wearing the shield up against your body because there's no war i mean not all people that you'll be meeting every day they're just gonna go out there and pierce you you just need to learn how to deal with it and free yourself up you know from the past grudges all those memories that have already hurted you even when you were younger or you know your you, you, the relatives that you don't really get along with it's time for you to let go of those traumas and it's time for you to let go of those excess baggages for you to have a lighter journey you know to go up and pay attention to the red flags you have the sharp observation but then you always feel like eh, you know like i can set it aside or when you feel like you know there's always like red flashing you still don't 
you know, still don't pay attention to it. And don't get involved with somebody who's married. Now, you will be moving into a different place or you will be moving into a different country, city or something like that because this is, you know, this is where your, you know, the right person will be meant for you. And like what I said in your past life that you have fallen in love with somebody that is uh, no longer available or you you try to please someone to love you but their heart already belongs to somebody else so you have settled for somebody in the past just for the sake of companionship but you try to mask your feelings or you try to fake your love okay because your heart already belongs to someone else so at this point it's time for you to remove your mask get real and be bold and daring now what are you supposed to be right now <coughs> You have, well, it's already in your hands, okay, how to be, um, how to reach that infinite abundance, happiness, um, and also abundance and happiness, and, hmm, well, career possibilities as well. One more thing, um, there are, two things that will be happening to you around the month of October right before your birthday one is that you will be getting the position that you want either it's a new job or it's uh, like a promotion but someone who's very close to you will be backstabbing you and this is what's going to be hurting you so you will be gaining something but you will be losing somebody at the same time it's also time for you to decide you know time is of the essence as I've said that you don't have that sense of urgency okay whenever that it's already the deadline that's the only time that you will cram up and you need to get in touch more with your earth side element light and love you have gone through a lot of struggles in the past it is because that you need to lead other people to you know to get out of the darkness that they are currently in it is because that you've gone through there like been there and done that and you love working with your hands okay instead of just sitting you get so bored easily you get you you're so impatient you love it's like you know i can see the card of a page of wands to you you're very curious it's like you're very enthralled with things okay and you're very enthusiastic as well you want to know what you know what makes something tick or you want to experiment you want to know how things move how things like this and that okay you love to work with your hands you're very curious and you also have talent in well well flower arrangement or gardening you have healing touch you know because this is also in your past life so you can also be in the field of medical okay or paramedics you can also be the teacher but then somehow um even though you love kids but sometimes you're very impatient and you also have a you know quick temper and you love being out there in the nature so try volunteering for like a natural cause or for some you know um outdoor organizations to take care of the nature or animals okay so anyway that's it for you for this retrograde or for this month scorpio and if you want to talk to me live on the phone or live in the calls, just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net. Blessings to you.